Hi loves! So you guys have all seen me do a lot of super glam and night out kind of makeup looks. Today I decided to film a very neutral and simple kind of makeup look that can be taken from day to evening just by adding false lashes and of course contouring and highlighting. Start out with clean moisturized skin, then apply a primer that's right for your skin type and moisturize your lips with some lip balm. I primed my eyelids using Ofra Cosmetics Eye Primer Gel. This is such a great product, I highly recommend it. Let's move on to highlighting and contouring. I'm mixing these two colors from my Kryolan Dermacolor Concealer Wheel for my highlight. The brush I'm using is a Real Techniques buffing brush. Apply your highlight under the eyes, down the bridge of your nose, on the center of your forehead, above and below your lips, and under the hollows of your cheeks. Now I'm using the darkest color in the concealer wheel as my contour shade and the brush is a Real Technique contouring brush. Apply the darker shade in the hollows of your cheeks, on the hairline of your forehead and temples. Also add some to your jawline. I like to apply some on the sides of my nose to make it look slimmer. I also added some into the crease of my eyelids to make it look deeper and then I applied a bit of the highlight color onto my brow bone and the center of my eyelids. I blended these two colors to create a customized foundation shade to suit my summer tan. I use these two spatulas for blending and mixing. With a clean buffing brush, start blending your foundation in small circular motions from the neck up. If you prefer liquid foundations over creams, I recommend trying LA Girls Cosmetics Pro Concealers. They're amazing. You guys can already see a huge difference between both sides. I love this technique and how it makes my skin look brighter. It's really different from using a one-tone foundation which can leave your face looking flat and dull. I'm using the salmon color in the center of the wheel as a cream blush. This is a stippling brush by Born Pretty Store. Apply the cream to the apples of your cheeks and then take it slightly upward. Laura Mercier's Loose Setting Powder in Beige is my all-time favorite face powder. It gives the skin a velvety finish and doesn't make you look too matte or cakey. Apply this to any areas where you want to cover up some shine. Next, I'm adding some contouring powder to all the areas that I contoured earlier. I'm using one that a friend of mine gave me, but unfortunately, it doesn't have the name or the brand on it. A close match would be Max Blunt for medium to dark skin or Max Harmony for lighter skin. I'm going to set all the areas that I highlighted using Ben Nye's Banana Powder. You can apply this using a sponge or a small dense brush. This is a great product. It took me a while to learn how to use this powder, but once I got the hang of it, I was amazed at the results. The trick is to apply it heavily and then to let it sit for a while on your skin before dusting it off. Okay, on to the brows. First, brush them out using a spoolie to get any product out that got into them. I used MAC Spiked Pencil to first trace a thin line from the inner corner to the arch and then down to the outer point. Next, fill in the rest of your brows by making short strokes in the direction of your natural hair growth and then just brush out your brows again with a spoolie. Here, I'm applying MAC's Feline Eye Pencil into my waterline. Okay, I think we've kept the banana powder on for long enough now, so I'm just going to lightly dust it off using a fluffy powder brush and see how it gives my skin a slightly yellowish glow. All the eyeshadows I use today are from this amazing eyeshadow palette by Ofra Cosmetics. I started out with this light brown shade and a MAC 217 brush, and I'm going to apply the shadow right into my crease, concentrating more on the inner and middle part of the crease. Then I'm taking this shell-like color and I'm applying it right onto the center of my lids. After that, I took a darker chocolate brown color and applied it using the same technique into the crease. This will make my eyes look more open and will give the illusion of having a deeper crease, which is great if your eyes are more monolid like mine. To deepen the crease even more, I applied this matte black eyeshadow into the crease with a MAC 219 pencil brush and then blended it out again with my MAC 217. I think I only used three brushes for my eyeshadow in this look, which never happens in my tutorials. Okay guys, so next I'm taking this vanilla colored matte eyeshadow and I'm applying it right onto my brow bone. I mixed the light brown and dark brown shades that I used earlier and applied the shadows under my lower lash line with a MAC 219 pencil brush. Just keep adding more and more until you get the desired effect. 
Next, I used this eyeliner pen by LA Girl Cosmetics and applied a really thin line close to my lashes to create a base for the false lashes I'll be applying. You can also skip this step and the false lashes for the daytime and go straight to mascara. But since I'm filming this super late at night, I chose to add a double set of red cherry lashes in number 747. Then just apply your favorite mascara to the root of your lashes and kind of wiggle the brush. Avoid applying mascara on the tips of the false lashes because it can make them look clumpy. Apply a few coats of mascara on your lower lashes as well. Seriously, I love how these lashes are so soft and wispy. For my lips, I first applied that same salmon color from my Kryolan wheel and I gently patted the color on using my fingers. And then I used the most gorgeous Barbie pink color by Fiyoshi Cosmetics called It's a Girl and applied it right on the inner center part of my lips to make them look more pouty and full. Next I used a fan brush and a MAC mineralized skin finish called By Candlelight to highlight the high points of my cheekbones taking it up to my brow bone and then I applied some down the bridge of my nose and a little on my cupid's bow. For blush, I mixed MAC's Pink Swoon and NYX's Peach Blushes. I applied the blush onto the apples of my cheeks with a stippling brush and then moved it a little upwards towards my temples. Oh and guys, remember to go back and cover any visible lash glue with liner. And that completes our simple and easy neutral makeup look today. This is definitely my go-to look because it suits every lip color and outfit. For my hair, I clipped in these gorgeous hair extensions from BombayHair.com and I used the Bombay Hair 5-in-1 curling wand to add these loose waves. All the details are in the description box below. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Love you guys. Take care. Mwah.